If you're interested in learning more basic Junos commands, be sure to check out our Introduction to the Junos Operating System course. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses and search for the course in the keyword search box. You can also see our complete learning paths at juniper.net slash learning paths. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hello, welcome to the How Can I Find the Serial Number for my Junos Device Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will understand when a device serial number is needed and be able to display a device's serial number using the Juno CLI. Let's try to understand when a device serial number is needed. If you need to open up a support case with Juniper Networks Technical Assistance Center, one of the pieces of information they will ask you to provide is the serial number for the device or component that's being affected. If you need to return a device or component to Juniper Networks, you have to obtain a return materials authorization number, and to obtain that number, you must provide the serial number for the device or component that's being affected. Certain features on Juniper Networks products are enabled through licensing, and the licenses that you will install to enable the feature are tied to the serial number of the platform that you would like to enable the feature on. Another common use or need for device serial numbers is some type of device inventory application. Maybe a spreadsheet or a database application that stores serial numbers for all devices and components in your network. Let's see how we can obtain the serial number on a Junos platform. The Junos CLI provides an operational mode command, show chassis hardware that displays information about all of the components in the device. The chassis serial number along with the serial numbers for all of the individual components in the chassis is displayed. Let's look at this command in more detail. I have secure shelled into a Juniper MX80 platform and I'm going to run the show chassis hardware command we mentioned earlier and let's analyze the results. In the output of the show chassis hardware command I see there is a serial number column and the first serial number that appears is the serial number for the chassis itself. In the case of this MX80 this serial number is five digits long. Now serial number length can vary by platform. If you're running the show chassis hardware command on a switch or, or one of our SRX model firewalls, you can see serial numbers that are 8 digits, 12 digits, even 16 digits in length. So if you run this command and your serial number is not the same length as this MX, don't be alarmed, that's a common event. And on top of seeing the serial number for the chassis, I can also, in this output, see the serial number for different components in the platform. So maybe I have a power supply that is giving me issues, is not functioning correctly, and I just need to return that to Juniper Networks. I may need to provide the serial number for that power supply. I also see that information in the show chassis hardware output. So show chassis hardware will give me the serial number for the chassis and also for individual components inside. In this learning byte we discussed when a device serial number is needed and we learned how to display a device's serial number using the Juno CLI. For more information on Juniper's training and certifications please visit our website. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.